What's up YouTube, Erod212 here with another video. So this past weekend was Garden State Comic Fest and it absolutely did not disappoint. Wait till you see what I got there. Alright, so like I said, uh, Garden State Comic Fest was this past weekend. So took a ride up there, uh, about 45 minutes from my house, so not, not, not a bad ride. And was able to get in early and uh, hit all the vendors and everything else. Now this show is always um, creator heavy, so it's a really good show for like artists and stuff. So um, the Hildebrands are always there. Um, they always have uh, Walt and Louise Simonson. Walt was uh, doing his quick sketches for a Donation for Heroes uh, initiative. So the line was big, but this year they had Rick Leonardi there. He had a really big line. Um, they had Tom Rainey there, who, who's phenomenal. Scott Hanna, um, Ariel Diaz, um, and a lot of other people in there. They also had some some wrestlers in the other rink. Uh, so it's basically it's a it's a hockey rink, and it is a regular gymnasium for like a basketball rink. And when you go in the hockey rink, it's still cold in there, so you, you're kind of freezing. But um, you know what, before we start, let me show you the show floor and then we'll talk about everything right after.
All right, so that was the show floor. Now, um, if you've seen my previous videos, then you'll know I've been working on a X-Men jam, a Wolverine jam piece. Um, and Tom Rainey was one of my favorite guys when he was doing his X-Men stuff, which is just great, great stuff. It was a short run, but he does really, really good work. And he's super friendly with everybody. So this is the jam I've been working on, all right? Uh, and this is Ace Continuado who did this. You got Scott Hanna who did Cyclops for me. Uh, Chris Lee did the Omega Red. And Ben Harvey did the Juggernaut. And uh, Chris Campagna did Gambit. But uh, being that Tom Rainey was there, I uh, wanted Tom to do a piece, uh, a character for me. And uh, I let him select what he wanted to do. And he went right for Sabretooth. My God, he crushed it. Literally crushed it and, and super affordable. So this, this remark right there, uh, this little jam piece remark right there was $40 for pencils. Uh, the plan is to get this all, this is only in pencil. I wanna get this all done in pencil. Um, blue line it and get it inked by an inker and then eventually get another one done and get it colored. So I would have all three side by side. I think it'll look sick. You'll see from the beginning to end. But it's a nice little work in progress. Uh, started this right during COVID. So uh, whenever I get the chance, it's just something I take along with me and, and get another character or two added. Uh, it's definitely coming to Terrificon because there's some great artists there. And I want to add one or two more guys on this. So now to the books. Let's take a look at the books we got there. Um, so we picked up, uh, these are Dolobin Finds, X-Men number 186. I'll take those Bronze Age X-Men all the time. Uh, anniversary issue, Avengers 300, first new team. Uh, that's a pretty weak team if you ask me. But take it. Great, great Mike Zek cover for uh, Deathstroke uh, the Terminator. Uh, Annihilation, Super Scrolls. This is an, a Del Otto cover. So just crazy Del Otto cover. Talk about crazy covers. Michael Turner's anniversary variant for Daredevil number uh, 100. Love that cover. Uh, there were two of them there at a dollar piece. Can't leave them laying around, you know? And then uh, had the uh, all new Wolverine. And this is the Francisco Matina, the Venomized variants. These things were all the rage. Matina was one of my favorite. I actually have one of these signed by Matina. He crushes it on, uh, you know, the all new Wolverine, Laura Kinney. And there were two copies of that, so I grabbed both of those. Uh, always pick up Annihilation Conquest. If you can get this six-issue run and put it together, it's a great run. And uh, it retains its value because of issue six. But great read if you haven't read this stuff. I've, I know I plug it all the time, but get get to reading Annihilation and Annihilation Conquest, all right? Um, New Avengers Annual number one. And this is the Wedding of Luke Cage and Jessica Jones. So if you watch the series, you know that they had a relationship. Well, this is the wedding. Uh, another series that that is a sleeper series is Captain Britain and MI-13. Uh, love this Spitfire in her full vampire form. Um, just a nice, nice cover. And this is a good series. Uh, a lot of spec on this series. So, you know, Spitfire is originally from the uh, original Invaders, daughter of the original Union Jack. And she got uh, infected with vampire's blood when she got bit by the original Baron Blood. But then uh, she doesn't become a vampire, doesn't activate her until she gets uh, a transfusion with uh, the Human Torch's blood and changes her into a full vampire. She has vampire-like powers. Uh, this, this is a good book. I, I tell you, don't sleep on this. This is uh, Joker's Daughter, number one. So these were for part of the lenticular set, but when you're out there on the hunt, if you find the non-lenticulars, those are the ones to grab. The, they go for a nicer premium than the regular lenticular, which is, you know, a kind of uh, plentiful. But, and, and a book I won't leave at, at laying around at a dollar is Ghost Rider. Um, number 15, this is the Glow in the Dark, the Danny Ketch series. Really nice. On to so um, nicer ones here. We've got Punisher number one, the Oz Comic Con variant. Um, and this this is, you know, he, he's drawn basically like um, 
drawing a blank on his name, but you know the, the guy who plays the Punisher right now on the series, um, but in cartoon form. It's actually nice. This is probably a nice book to get signed by him, so couldn't pass that up. Um, Secret Wars, number one. This is the Midtown uh, sketch exclusive. Like that a lot. Um, always get this here. Amazing Spider-Man number 36, and this is the uh, the black cover. It's the 9-11 tribute. Uh, great, great book. I'm loving the cover. Um, Sarah Pacelli's variant for Ultimate Invasion number one. You know, the original artist for Miles. So she crushes it there. Um, In Hook Lee, Virgin variant of Psylocke. So that's beautiful. Beautiful. Um, Probably one of my all-time favorite Wolverine renditions um, is right there. Addy Granoff just crushes it. I mean, it, it just... Oof, that's that. That's all I can say. It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful art. Um, X-Men Gold. I think this is 25, right? No, number three. But this is the J. Scott Campbell. I believe this is a 1 in 25. These are the J. Scott Campbell variant. Um... Spider-Man number two. This is the Michael Turner variant. Just beautiful. Picked up a gorgeous, gorgeous Adam Hughes Catwoman variant. Um, I believe this was a ratio also. It's really nice. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows. J. Scott Campbell variant right there. Uh, this is the sketch. The color looks better, but I like the sketches on these. They carry a nice premium. This this was laying around and nobody picked it up. I was shocked. Uh, Superman number eight. First appearance of Kara jor right? And it is signed by Michael Turner. And it has a COA from Aspen Comics. Um, I have to look up the other signature. I think it's uh, Peters. And I'm forgetting his last name. Uh, you know what? Let's take a look. That bothers me. I hate that. Because I've had this book signed by Turner before. Um, it, it's a good book, but it got it got so much better. We are the credits on here. Yeah, Peter Stegewald. That's who it is. But iconic Michael Turner autographed um, issue number eight. This book went from a nothing book to a major key. Uh, the girl who plays her it crushes it in the movies. You know, really, really crushes it in the movies. Uh, she does a great, great job. Um, talk about great jobs. If you guys um, haven't heard, I'm going to have a drop-off site with my man, uh, Mike, from Main Street Comics. So if you want your books pressed and you want them pressed properly, uh, but you don't want to put them in the mail, uh, stay tuned. Because coming up soon in July, we're going to have a location at his store for you to do drop-offs. There'll be a form to fill out. Uh, you know, the books will be, the form will be fill, uh, checked out there and i'll be coming to that store at least once sometimes twice a week we're also setting something up where i might be at the shop and i'll take a look at your books i'll tell you my honest opinion if i feel that you should be getting that book graded or not but uh stay tuned and uh you know be on the watch for that because we might do a little discount or something that day i'll do a little discount maybe a 10 percent discount to anybody that shows up that day on their orders so save a little money you know uh amazing spider-man Annual number 21, and this is the newsstand variant. Uh, we know the newsstand edition because it has Spider Man in uniform and it has the rogues, uh, the trade dress, <coughs> excuse me, the, the direct edition has the heroes and Peter Parker and MJ. Got this for a steal. Uh, amazing Spider Man number 28, first Molten Man, and it's actually not bad. Only problem is that it's missing its centerfold, but that does not affect the story. So uh, if you want, you're a completionist and you want to get yourself a copy, this is the kind of copy that you need to get. Uh, definitely a good, good book to get. And then two big boys. Two, two big, big boys, and I'm super happy to get them. Um, I picked up a copy of De De Detective Comics 880, the jock cover. Uh, and this is a candidate. So I was talking to my man, Mike, who has a store there, had a shop, you know, set up there, location. He's a local vendor at uh, the Clifton Show, so always a great guy to go to. 
and uh, build relationships with the dealers, man. You're going to get them to work deals with you. They just become familiar with you and comfortable. You know, it's like everything else. Don't just go there and look at the books. Talk to these guys, man. They're, they're human beings just like you and I. But Mike gave me this, which is a 9-8 contender. And a 9-8 goes for about that much right there. And he also gave me this. And I had never found this book in the wild. Um... I think this is a 9.6, but it has a shot at a 9.8. Let's see what kind of magic we can work on it. Fingers crossed. Uh, but he gave me such a deal on these things. Uh, couldn't pass them up kind of deal is what I'm going to say. I, I don't talk prices usually, uh, but I just couldn't pass both of these books up. Uh, well, well below what the fair market value is on both of them. So big shout out to my man, Mike. Um, we call him Mike the school teacher. All right. So everybody that knows him from Clifton Shows, shout out to Mike. He gave me a, a gracious deal. And this is the Adam Hughes 1 in 10. And this this book, um, it's a 1 in 10. So there are quite a few copies, but this is a supply and demand book. You just, you don't see it on shelves too often. You don't see it at shows too often. Like I was talking to my man Gary, and he had never owned this book. And how many collections does Gary buy? So couldn't pass it up. Had to grab it, and uh, you know that that was the end to the haul. But that's it for this video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you enjoy stuff like this, I'll be at TerrificCon with books like these. Uh, we're gonna be setting up there. It's Express CBP, so make sure you look for us. Once I get the location where we're gonna be at, I'll put it on Instagram. Put it up over here for you guys. Stop by, say hello, uh, take a look at what we got, and uh, there'll be some surprises there for terrific con so it should be a lot of fun also uh coming up in august it's going to be the anime con up in the bronx my man lone wolf is running that and it's a great show with a great lineup we'll be there also so make sure one of those two stop by say hello have some fun and uh you know until the next video peace